Hey everybody, Benjamin Sturman here uh, for another video. In this video we're going to be going through the layout of your website and the pages you should be including. Um, this is a very important video actually. Uh, it's going to give you a bit more of an insight of exactly what to feature on your website um, and a bit more information into that. So let's get straight on with it. So what pages to actually add to your website? Obviously you want to have a home, home button. Um, just quickly, on your website you should always add a logo so your logo should is typically in the, the top left corner uh, if you can uh, add a link to your home page because a lot of people will actually click on the logo uh, you want that to link back to your home page because uh, that's what typically happens so anyway on your home page you should either include a featured product or course you want to sell um, or maybe just a bit of information about the site an auto playing video it's a great way to engage people from the start so people come on and their video automatically plays so there's audio already playing um, and a bit of visual so put a lot of effort into that video because that's going to be a very important video that's going to be the first in introduction on a video and that's, that should really um, set the mood and it should capture people straight away social networking you may want to have a page just just devoted to your twitter your facebook and other social media streams um, it's not the most important page but if you don't have a, a um, page devoted to social media always include the links or the logos you know when you always see the little Facebook logo the little Twitter logo on some of if not all the pages either at the top corners uh, or the bottom uh, that's preferred you don't put them in the middle uh, either the bottom or the top them just the little links uh, you can either you can either add uh, follow me follow me on Twitter like the page on Facebook those kind of pictures or you can just have the logos people will automatically think and obviously link to the those logos obviously to your social media um, about me, that's always an important page. Um, add a page about me. It's a great way to build trust with people. Um, and if somebody wants to learn more about yourself before buying, uh, it's a great way to, um, a great tool. Think of it as a mini biography. So aim just a couple of paragraphs. You don't want to bore people, but um, don't include, oh yeah, okay, so I set up this business because of this. Include, you know, a little bit about your family, a little bit about your hobbies. Make it personal. Um, Excuse me, and 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 that's that's a great way. That's great things to include in your about me page. Okay, so pages two. So what else page should you have? Blog. Um, I would recommend to integrate your blog into your website. Now this can be a massive traffic boost to your articles and for CEO and backlink purposes, like we learned in the, in the videos before uh, in the uh, blog category. So if your website is getting many more visitors instead of your blog. Uh, for example, that's a great way to uh, just add your blog into your website. A lot of people do that. I definitely um, advise that. Also, if you have a WordPress blog and a Wix website, you can easily um, kind of disguise the blog button into the um, the navigation bar so it looks all legit. Store. Uh, if you run a business, you can set up your own e-commerce e uh, site with Wix. Um, for example, with an already set up store so you go on you get the theme and the store is already set up all you do is you just add PayPal or your MasterCard uh, ways of payment any other ways um, and receive payments easily uh, so it's just like a nice checkout thing you can customize it a couple of buttons clicks with WordPress I don't know how hard it is I'm not even gonna try my head just starts spinning when I just even think about that but you know so another time another example get Wix the link's gonna be below um, get the website builder try it out see what you think and then go for premium um, some sites even like their store to be their home page so as soon as you went into the, um, the site the store is going to be the home page the first page you're going to get um, for example clothing lines I actually run my own clothing line um, or I used to run it I'm going to start it up soon um, I run that and the, and the first page is always a store so people can see um, exactly what I have to offer um, and that so the last slide here is going to be the layout of your website. So the colours or the house style. House style just means uh, a consistent colour or a consistent theme to your website. So you need to put, pick two or three colours which work well together. Um, and just try your best to use these throughout your website. Uh, even on the images you could like um, make the title or make sure the the uh, images are the same kind of colours. And this makes your site look much more professional. I used to make sites with bloody... Uh, um, Rainbow sites, I like to call them, but try to pick two or three colors and use them throughout the website. Call to action this is really important. Uh, if your main goal of your website 
you should have a main goal for your website basically uh, you need you're not gonna have a website just to tell somebody a little bit about you you're not gonna monetize that at all um, you you should have a goal f for what your visitor wants to do for example sign up to a course so always make it easy you should always add an opt-in box maybe to the side of your web page or uh, even at the bottom uh, and make this um, the, the main call to action easy you might have a sub call to action which is like like my page on Facebook make this like for my example I want people to sign up to the course so it's real really really uh, bold and easy to see uh, easy to do just literally say this is where you type your email in this is where you type your name in and it's simple like that your overall layout um, now with Wix Website Builder, the themes are made and developed by profe uh, web di design professionals, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, you otherwise, you'd have to learn all of the different um, psychological en elements to where people, what people think, and where they click. Um, there's also a plugin actually I bought um, where you can actually you can actually uh, film people when they're clicked onto your site, so it actually records them. That's a plugin, but uh, I don't know what it is. But you can just search, like you know, um, website spy or something like that, and, and you can find that there. So that's the uh, that's your layout uh, of your website. I hope you have got some more tips from this, and uh, exactly how what pages to include if you're a bit um, unsure about that. So thanks, guys, and I'll see you next video.